Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, today what we're going to cover is we're going to take these mags apart and see what the difference is. Um, here we can see we have a 10 round mag on my on the right here and then an 18 round mag here. These are for, let's see, I'll get that to show up. These are for the Canic TP9 series. And <clears throat> we know that the difference is that this magazine is limited to 10 rounds because of this crimp right here that's put into the body of the mag. So everything else on the mag externally looks the same with the exception of that dimple. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop the base plates off. We're going to pull the springs out and compare them. And what I plan on doing is grinding that out and we'll see if I need to do any spring modifications to make this into an 18 round mag. And then what I might do is scribe across and drill a hole right there so I know when I'm at full 18 round capacity as well. So, that being said, let's grab something. This should work. If I can get it out. So I just have like a skewer stick right here. And all we're going to do is depress that button on the bottom of the magazine base. If it will. There it goes. And then keep your thumb over that bottom. Slide your base plate off. Set your base plate down. Set your mag down and slowly lower your... Let your uh, spring naturally release out of there. So I'm going to move that one up. That was the 18 round. So here we're going to do the 10 round now. That button is a little sticky on this one. I just frayed the end of my... There it goes. So there you could hear how stiff that was. And I'm going to pull this base off. I'm going to capture that with my finger here. I'm going to set this down on the bench and slowly let it release itself here. So I'm going to flip them over so they're facing the same way. And let's go ahead and pull these out here and compare them. So this will be the 10 round. This will be the 18 round. So let's do a coil count here. There's one that's in the follower, so we're going to start at one right there. So one, two, three, four. Let me start. Let me move these up into frame. Try and do this here. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, with the thirteenth one on the base plate. This is the ten round. We have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteenth one on the base plate. So there doesn't appear to be anything significantly different other than it looks like the the eighteen round one has taken about a one coil set. Um so my guess is It looks like just the spacing of, uh, let's see here, if I lay them on top of each other, yeah, so it's just that starting right here, the spacing just shrunk just a little bit, so it should be something, um, it shouldn't affect anything as far as not be maybe at at worst we'd say that this mag would hold 17 rounds once these buttons are removed so i'm going to give you a shot down in there let's get my hand out of the way it actually showed up better so there you can see the dimples and what they do is they restrict this follower um, they grab right on here and they stop that follower from going down farther into the mag body. So <clears throat> by removing that, you're essentially creating this magazine body, which does not have the dimple. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a measurement on here and just either uh, drill it out with a drill bit. I should be able to drill through both sides with the drill press and uh, get rid of that 
and then uh, we'll put the mag back together and we'll grab some rounds and see how many we can get in there. So let me get on that. I'm going to do that off camera because all I'm doing is drilling. And uh, it's noisy and you don't really need to see that. But I'll be back before I reassemble it and then we'll throw rounds in there and see what we come up with. Okay, so I'm back. I just got done drilling the dimples out. <clears throat> and so now we can see there's no more ledge on the inside of the mag body like this. So I'm going to go ahead and reassemble the mag. And then what we'll do is we'll pull some ammo out. And we'll see how many rounds we can get in there. Okay, stand by for one second. So we got a handful of nine millimeter here and the Maglula. So let's see what we can get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, there's eighteen in the ten round mag. So I just need to drill that hole. I just marked it with a punch um, where it is. So I just need to drill that hole to show my 18 rounds. But let's go ahead and pop them out into this cloth right here. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18 and there's the follower so pretty simple mod um, again if you're in a state that has a 10 round uh, magazine ban uh, capacity ban don't do this it's against the law so be sure to check your local laws and regulations but if you're in a free state and you happen to bought a gun that had some 10 round mags it might just be as simple as drilling the dimples and uh, then you get full capacity out of it. So thank you guys for watching and always shoot safe.